Okay, now that we've captured the handshake, all we need to do to crack the WPA key is to create a word list. A word list is just a list of uh, words uh, that Aircrack NG is gonna go through and try each one of these words against the handshake until it successfully determines the WPA key. So, the better your, hand, the, your word list is, the more your chances are of cracking the WPA key. If the password wasn't there in your word list file, you will not be able to determine the WPA key. Now I've attached a list of ready word lists that you can just download and use, or you can create your own word list using this video tutorial. Uh, we're gonna use a tool called Crunch. It's basically just a script that you specify the characters that you want in the, in the passwords and it'll create all possible combinations of these passwords. So the format of the command of using Crunch is Crunch Minimum Maximum. The minimum is the minimum number of characters of the password that you want to create. So you can say I want a minimum of 4, 5, 6, whatever you want. Maximum is the maximum number of characters in the passwords. Characters, you're gonna specify the characters that are gonna be used to create the passwords. So you can specify A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the lower letters, and then you can write the capital letters, um, you can put numbers, you can put symbols. Uh, so here you'll specify the, pa the characters that you want. And then T is very useful if you know part of the password. It's a pattern. So for example, if you're trying to guess a password and you've seen someone type in this password, so you know, for example, it starts with an A and ends with a B. So you can use the pattern option and tell Crunch to create passwords that always start with A and end with B and it'll put all possible combinations of the characters that you put in here. So for example, in, in here, in this example, we have crunch. Uh, we're gonna create passwords of minimum of 6 characters and maximum of 8 characters. And the passwords are gonna be combinations of the characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And these symbols is gonna be stored in a file called word list. And the pattern is this this password or that are going to be created they're always going to start with an a and they're always going to end with b so all the passwords that you're going to see in the file are going to always start with a and end with b and they'll have all the possible combinations of the characters you specified here between the a and the b so let's just run it here and create a sample word list i'm gonna say crunch and then we're gonna make a minimum of 6 and maximum of 6 or let's say minimum of 4 maximum of 6 and uh, just so that it doesn't take a long time I'm gonna make it short uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put the characters for uh, 1 2 3 a b I'm gonna store this in sample world list So Crunch is going to create a combination of passwords, a minimum of 4 characters, maximum of 6 characters, and it's going to create all possible combinations of 1, 2, 3, A, B, and it's going to store all that in a file called sample word list. Now we can read this file, we can just say cat sample word list, and we can see all the passwords that are stored in this file now. So that's all the passwords that crunch created for us so you can see it was 19,375 combinations possible from only 123AB uh, obviously uh, the bigger the password that you put uh, the more the more characters you put the more passwords that you can make and uh, the more space they're gonna take So let's just have a look on the pattern option. So we'll go crunch. 
let's say a minimum of five and a maximum of five so all passwords I want them to be five character long and then I'll put the characters which are one two three a b like before and then I'm gonna add the T option which is the pattern and I'm gonna say I want a password start with an A and end with a B and I want all possible combinations of my characters between the A and the B and then we're gonna specify the output file and let's call it pattern word list and you can see here it's gonna create 125 passwords and let's have a look on them and as you can see here it's always starting with an A and always ending with a B so you can use crunch now to create your word list and in the next video we're gonna use the word list and the handshake file to determine the actual WPA key click here for the next video and click here for the previous video or go to description for the video link a link was provided in the description below for all of my other videos on cracking Wi-Fi passwords. Please like this video and thank you for watching.